William Hill sponsors Joshua versus Molina on Sky Sports Box Office. Started working with Luis Ortiz and got a private message on Twitter saying, please get me that fight, stick me in with Ortiz. He did it with Lewis, uh, with uh, Dillian White on two or three weeks' notice, but this time has had a proper camp. Sparring with Dillian White, he's in great shape. We know he's a huge underdog in the fight. But David Allen, this is an opportunity that you were absolutely desperate to take and you got your wish for Saturday night. Yeah, um, you know, Luis Ortiz is probably one of the best heavyweights in the world. I the best heavyweight in the world. I can let you know Saturday night. I was going to say something quite funny, but... He sat closer than I anticipated, so um, I'm going to crack on with the sensible stuff. Um, yeah, I know, I know how big a challenge it is. You know, it's probably a bigger challenge than a white fight, but I believe I'm a lot better fighter now than I was then. I've uh, got a lot of respect for him. I don't think he's a great fighter, you know, but I don't shy away from any uh, challenge. And uh, come Saturday night, we'll see, we'll see what happens. You know, I plan to take him four or five rounds deep, see what he's got. You know, he's shown that he's, he's good on top. <coughs> We'll see what it's like when a uh, little fat kid gets on top of him, start giving it him back. We'll see, we'll see what it's like then, you know. But yeah, it's a big ask, but I'm really excited, man. It's a great show as well. So uh, thanks for uh, letting me know you were and getting me on. Where does this mentality come from, Dave? You just, you want to fight anyone, don't you? You don't care who it is. I mean, you know, Dylan White was a big step up for you, but now you move into, you know, one of the most feared heavyweights in the world, but with absolutely no fear yourself. Yeah, you know, I was brought up this way, you know. Um, don't shy away from anybody. You know, the Dillian White uh, fight didn't go to plan. You know, but I won that. I wouldn't have been fighting Ortiz now, you know, and I got the correct fights, but the Ortiz fight came up. So, you know, he's the best ever in the world, so what? But, you know, who cares? It's a fight, you know. I, I thought, I'd fight for anything. I'd fight anyone for anything. It doesn't matter. This, is, this isn't about money. It's not about anything else. It's about pride. I want to beat them one ever in the world. I want to be recognised one of the best ever in the world and get to the very top, you know. And, um, We'll see Saturday, I'm very confident. I've not come here to lie down. I don't lie down for anybody, you know. I will not lie down for this man either. Uh, I, I only see this going one way. I see me getting Luis Ortiz out there later on, you know, later on. I think um, <coughs> a good fighter. But I'm going to get on top of him, you know. He, he ain't going to get me out there. He's not going to flatten me in a round or two. And then when I start giving it him back, then we'll see. Thanks, Dave. Refreshing attitude. Jay, welcome back. Obviously, uh, well, welcome to the UK full stop. Had you over in uh, Monaco. It was a great experience. Obviously, the fight was a little bit frustrating, but now onwards and upwards, closing 2016 with a big bang and then moving on to that world championship fight in your mind in 2017. Well, it's great and it's good to be back, Eddie. Um, we're excited. Um, we can't say much, we're ready for Saturday. Uh, Lewis is ready to fight. We respect David for taking the fight. Lewis just hopes he doesn't do what Malik did. Malik said he was coming to give him a boxing lesson and ran for 12 rounds. Uh, he's ready. Lewis is ready. We're ready to go. And a question for Lewis Ortiz. Obviously, Malik Scott was frustrated, but now ready for a great fight on Saturday. Malik, you can throw for a time. You can throw for a time. Yeah, yeah. I think. I said, look, I said, said, of course, he was frustrated, but he's coming Saturday to fight. Uh, and he's going to do to David what Dylan White couldn't do. He's going to stop. Look forward to that fight. One fight I think could steal the show, could be fight of the night, is a, is a wonderful fight for the Lonsdale belt. And that's the champion, Jose yeah. Burton, against the challenger, Frank Buglioni. Jose Burton's been waiting for these big fights for a long time. Obviously, it was a fight that was scheduled for...